Good evening everyone. Welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, we are going to talk about hedgehog signaling pathway. What is hedgehog signaling? What is the process of hedgehog signaling pathway? And we'll also look into the hedgehog signaling animation. So the very first section will discuss about the hedgehog signaling molecule, the hedgehog signaling pathway receptor, and the function of hedgehog signaling pathway. Then we'll move to the hedgehog signaling animation. So let's begin with the hedgehog signaling pathway. The signaling molecule used in hedgehog signaling is hedgehog protein itself, the short form of which is known as capital H, small h. The receptor used here is known as patch receptor, short form of PTCH, like PTCH1, PTCH2 are very common two receptors for hedgehog signaling in mammals. The role of hedgehog signaling is in the embryonic development adult tissue maintenance, renewal and regeneration, survival and proliferation to cell fate, specification and differentiation. What is the action pattern of hedgehog signaling? It act in concentration and time dependent manner. The types of hedgehog signaling in mammals are sonic hedgehog known as SHH, Indian hedgehog IHH and desert hedgehog DHH. All Hedgehog ligands are synthesized as precursor protein that undergoes autocatalytic cleavage and are dually lipated protein. Dually lipidated protein. The location in vertebrate hedgehog signaling occurs in the primary cilium in the body. The target gene in hedgehog signaling is cell type dependent, but common targets are patch and GLI1. Full form patch, short form PTCH and GLI-1, GLI-1. The evolutionary conservedness for hedgehog signaling is highly conserved. Now let's look at the hedgehog signaling animation. So these are two images. In the left side, we'll talk about the process of hedgehog signaling when there is no hedgehog protein. So signaling will be off. And in the right side, we'll see the situation where hedgehog signaling in presence of hedgehog molecule or signaling is on. So let's talk about the left hand side or when the hedgehog protein is missing when the signaling process will be off. In the surface of this cell, we are looking at two different receptors, PTCH and SMO. The PTCH is a patch and SMO. So PTCH is known as patch and SMO is known as smoothened. Smoothened is a type of frizzle class of receptors. We'll talk about frizzle class of receptor in other kinds of signaling process as well. Now the process begins when there is no hedgehog present here. So if there is no hedgehog present, then this patch is going to inhibit the functionality of smoothened. And as the patch inhibits the functionality of smoothened, then GLI protein which is present in the cytosol which is generally inhibited by SUFU protein. Now this GLI protein can be activated by protein kinase A. But in this case, what protein kinase A can do is simply SUFU guides GLI3 protein and this protein kinase A or PKA attaches polyubiquitin and trigger the degradation of GLI3 protein through proteasome mediated protein degradation. So GLI3 protein is degraded and GLI2 protein which is activated by PKA which is further inhibited by SUFU. So neither GLI2 is active nor GLI3 is active without the presence of hedgehog. Now at this moment inside the nucleus there is GLI3R or GLI3 receptor. The GLI3 receptor can associate with the DNA but without GLI3 protein it cannot function. So the hedgehog target genes will be the transcription of hedgehog target genes will be turned off. In the next situation in the right hand side where the hedgehog signaling molecule is present, see there is a patch protein and also SMO protein, smoothen protein. Now at this moment when the hedgehog is present, the hedgehog is going to initiate interaction to the patch receptor and due to this interaction to the patch receptor, there is no point of patch receptor inhibiting smoothened. So in this case, all this SUFU, PKA and GLI3 become inactive. They don't have any role to play now. Instead, 
here the glee 2 remains active because there is no way the sufu can initiate the degradation of glee 3 or sufu cannot inhibit glee 2 because sufu pk and glee 3 are inactive due to the binding of hedgehog signaling molecule so as glee 3 is free glee 3 will go inside the nucleus and glee 3 interacts to the dna specific promoter region which will turn on the hedgehog target genes transcription and the transcription of hedgehog target gene is done the mrna made and transported into the cytosol and further proteins will be prepared which are known as the hedgehog target proteins this is how the hedgehog signaling works in the absence and presence of hedgehog signaling molecule so i believe you have a clear idea about the hedgehog signaling process with this help of hedgehog signaling animation video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye